Howdy hosters. Today I'm going to show you how to make a table in Excel that goes into your Word document. So let's start by looking at a table that I created a little while ago. This is called Findings of Hotel Oriented Willingness to Pay Studies. People being willing to pay to stay at a hotel are really important. And I can't just out of nowhere say, oh, it's important. And research has been done, something like that. I had to read a lot of studies so I could do my own research, knowing who did what before me. So for example, these are all studies I read down to here that had willingness to pay studies, like people willing to pay for different things at a hotel. So I built this chart because it's a lot better to provide a chart in my paper that I'm submitting for publication than it is to not have a chart and just be trying to explain it over three, four pages, something like that. This chart is just easier. So how do you build a professional chart like this? Well, we start with something like this. Our first table in our paper would be called table one. So table one, and I'll zoom in so that we can all look at it together. So table one, I best successes. Right. And underneath that, we would say something like names or we go student names. Year. Current employment. So after that. We kind of make sure that these are all the correct size. So let's say that we had one person who was in IBEST named Justin Tyone, another one named Fati Keeley, another one Seun Lee, another one Cody Harrington, another one Tanya McLaurin, another one, you know, Connor O'Leary. It's like whatever we want to do. Okay. So here we're going to come up here and we are going to. Boom, merge and center, and then to the left. We are going to place a double border. Underneath this one, you're going to place a single border. A single border here. And what year did this individual complete IBEST? So let's say 2015, 2017, 2019, 2016, Right, 2022, 2021, it would be like this. I'm putting the year that they taught in our program. All right. And then over here, you would type in like whatever the employment, right? So um, supervisor, lodging, Crown Plaza. All right. And then here you would put like whatever tour guide, Seattle, All right? Um, gate agent, yeah. All right, so it'd be something like this. You go through. So then you copy paste it over to here into your Word document, and there it is. That's what it should look like. So doing this, I showed you exactly how to do it. And yes, there's one to, did you format it correctly? The other one is, are you doing things correctly? And do, do you know how to fix problems and whatever? One thing I noticed here is that you see how this entire row is too far to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and go up here. And now it's going to copy paste differently. Watch. Oh no, there we go. What is going on? All right, we wanna make sure that we are below the line. There we go. So it looks a little bit better, right? It's all centered. See how this is centered? You have the white space above and below, but here you only have white space above. So that's just little things you can do to make it look better. And then you should end up with a table that's gonna look like this in the end. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you about this table, so if we come in here, insert, break, next page. All right, so there's something interesting about this table. 
if I copy paste it in, you will notice that it goes off the side of the page. Oh my gosh, that's no good. Nobody can read it. My table's too big. I can come up here and I can try to fix it. Oh, it doesn't really fix it. Oh boy, what am I gonna do? All right, well, there are some really good options. The easiest one is going to come up here to orientation, landscape, and now, perfect. Now, sure, it goes on to another page, but that's okay. It's on two pages. If you're trying really hard to get it on the one, you could get rid of some of this white space like this, but you can't do it for all of them. And you can see it starts to be difficult to tell where one row ends and one begins. And I still didn't succeed, right? I still have it on different columns and rows and all that, um, different pages. So I could go like this again and see all those come. And anyway, you can play around with it to get it how you want. Just remember that APA mandates that you have white space around your page. So you're not gonna be able to go over here and change all the margins. All right, well, I hope this was useful because this week you're going to be creating charts and then you are going to tables, we call them, tables, you're going to create tables and you're going to place them inside your paper. And now forever, you're going to have these really professional tables in all of your papers that you write, which are going to make instructors like you and you're going to get a higher grade. That's the goal, right?